Right now at 6, the legislative session is coming to an end. Here we are on the last day and the Senate's ready to adjourn. And Denver 7 has 360 in-depth coverage of the bills that matter the most to you. I hope as our legislators work with agency heads that they look and keep at a priority getting the most funds possible actually out into our communities. From public safety to education, your wallet and the environment, state lawmakers are down to the wire at the state capitol. It is a volatile time during the session for sure. And good evening to you and thank you for watching Denver 7 News at 6. I'm Ann Trujillo. And I'm Shannon Ogden, live outside the Colorado State Capitol for this last day of the 2022 legislative session. And this session started out ambitiously. 657 bills introduced in total, 418 in the House, 239 in the Senate. But here we are on the last day of the session, and lawmakers still had a lot on their plate. Now, they sped through the remaining bills to try to avoid a special session. So for you tonight, we're going to focus on the bills that impact Coloradans most. We have 360 in-depth coverage a look at the bills that passed and the ones that did not. And tonight we're going to focus on four main themes. The impact on your wallet, your child's education, the environment, and public safety. And these were priorities for Republicans and Democrats. Now, how they plan to address those issues, of course, completely different things. I want to bring in our political reporter, expert, Megan Lopez, for some perspective here. So usually, Megan, the last day of the session, pomp and circumstances, slaps on the back, job well done. but too busy for that today. They are racing to the finish line. Certainly a little bit of that, but definitely racing to the finish line, Shannon. I mean, they have a lot of work left and very little time to get it done. So as of this morning, they had 88 bills that they still needed to get across that finish line. Inevitably, some of them are going to die. They've done a lot of work on them. Now, of the ones that are left at this hour, there is a few. One of them deals with a task force to study the use of facial recognition technology and to ban it in schools. That's one that we covered early in the session. There's also one, a couple actually, that deal with behavioral health needs for people working their way through the criminal justice system. And of course, fentanyl. It's known as Signy Die, the last day of the legislature and a last chance for lawmakers to pass meaningful bills before next year. It's also normally a day full of frivolity with special performances. There's a special person in the chamber. Tributes to members who are leaving the legislature and a lot of shenanigans. And while there certainly was some of that this year, it was also a race to the finish. Legislators are a lot like high schoolers. We save all of the work until the very end. And there's something good to that, right? The pressure of knowing we have to end by midnight tonight means that conversations happen. That means speeding through dozens of votes. And a lot of significant bills, some of the controversial ones, were left for the final hours. We